Are you wondering why maybe you don't have the righteousness you have been hearing about? Have you wondered why you don't have the ideal, the perfect, what we're seeking, what you're looking for, the righteousness? Have you wondered why your righteousness of today is not higher, is not greater, is not purer, is not wider, is not more extensive than the righteousness of yesteryears because there's no thirst. Because you are not thirsty, because you are not hungry. It says, blessed are they all, all of us, everyone that hungers and thirsts, everyone that pines, everyone that desires, everyone that is not putting righteousness on the shelf, everyone longing, everyone passionate about it, everyone praying about it, everyone that says, I'm not satisfied, it says, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Tell me what will follow. Tell me out aloud. For they shall be filled. The righteousness will not be minimal at the lower part of the glass of the cup. The righteousness will not have feel the cup, have feel the heart. The righteousness will be feel, will feel your cup, will feel your heart, will be overflowing in Jesus' name. But you know, it takes thirst. It takes desire. After caring about such righteousness, for your heart to punch at it and for your heart to desire it so much more than any other sin. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, we shall be filled. We shall be filled. You'll be filled in Jesus' name. Righteousness at home, righteousness in the heart, righteousness in the house of God, Righteousness in the place of work, righteousness that is seen and known, righteousness overflowing in our lives in Jesus' name.